try to explain colour to a blind person and try to explain surfing to someone who's never surfed are very similar. It's like you can talk for days but you probably won't hit the mark. The inability to describe something to me is the proof that it is fucking amazing. It's that amazing is good enough for me. I'm happy to not know. I'm happy to not understand what's going on. I don't need to understand it all. You surf because you really, really want to and because you're loving it and it's a blessing or you don't surf. I've been gifted the opportunity to not have to go to a nine to five job and to not have to be in that mindset. So I figure why not go as far the other way as I could. The great thing is there's no rules with surfing. You don't have to surf till the day you die. One day you might just wake up and you're done. You just surf because it feels good and you surf because you can and that's how I feel about myself. I always drink a little bit of the water when I get into the ocean before I start catching waves. I'll drink it so that there's like a little bit of what I'm in is in me. It just feels good to feel that there's something of what's all around me inside me and maybe my body will understand where I'm at and what I'm doing a little better if, if it's on the inside and the outside. Tom Robbins says that, you know, art is meaningless in a way, it has no purpose, but our lives without it would be meaningless and without purpose. And for me surfing is the same where you pull off at the end of waves and there's nothing in your hands, there's nothing to hold, there's nothing to show, there's nothing to eat, it's just the feeling and the experience. The more loose I get in the surfing experience, the more interest there is and the more fun I have, and just the more vibrance and richness in life seems to come from that. So I'm just thinking like, why not just go to the nth degree with that? Why not go to the periphery? I surf because it's a blessing and I'm freaking blessed to even have that choice.